Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States and Dr. Jill Biden. Today we're very lucky to be here to celebrate the 75th anniversary of Toys for Tots. And did you guys know that in 75 years, children just like you and other United States volunteers working with American Marines have helped 281 million children. Wow. 281. And there are 14 million children in the United States who are living below the poverty line. That means they're at risk. And last year, last year, some of you, the Marines and 55,000 American volunteers helped almost 9 million children. And we're going to do it again this year. And finally, I would say that some of us think that Toys for Tots is only for Christmas time and the holidays, but it's actually a year-round effort. And there's a major effort on literacy, and we're going to have a chance to help with that, too. Okay. But first, what we're going to do is thank the band. Thanks for playing today and coming. And as you can tell, we have some really special guests, and it is my great honor to introduce our First Lady, Dr. Jill Biden. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, uh, and thank you to your family as well. And, and thank you for your service. And I'm so happy to be with some great friends today who also happen to be the spouses of our Senior Department of Defense and Service Leaders. And I want to thank them for helping, for coming out to help. So Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Uh, I'm sorry I have laryngitis. <laughs> so how many of you know this book? Oh, everybody, wow. Okay. <laughs> I love this book. And as a matter of fact, I might have, I might have dressed up as the Grinch for a White House event when I was second lady. But, and you probably know the whole story of the Grinch, but I'd like to read you one of my favorite parts. Okay, actually, is there someone who would want to come up and read the one page? So, are you a good reader? Yeah, you come on up. That way I, here, we'll give him the apple box. And the Grinch hit with his Grinch feet, ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling how cold it, it be so. It came without ribbons and it came without tags. It came without pages, box, or bags. And he puzzled three hours till Blizzard, Blizzard was sto stored. Then the Grinch threw something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, didn't come for a storm. Maybe Christmas patches means a little bit more. Thank you. You did a great job. What's your name? Adam. Thank you, Adam. Wow. <laughs> you did a great job. And so if there's one group of kids who understands that the holiday, what the holidays are about more than what's under the tree, it's you. All of you are military children. And you understand the gifts that mean the most can't be the ones held in our hands. You need a friend or time with the people you love or the chance to serve your community and your country with honor and pride. Though
Those things can't be bought. They're only given with our hearts. So military kids like you give our country so much. You support your parents through moves and deployments, and you sometimes help take care of the family members who came home with um, maybe illnesses or injuries, and you help out neighbors when they need it, just like you're going to do today. Now, I bet a lot of you put up trees and lights at your home already. How many of you have done that? Most of you, wow. Well, at the White House, we do the same thing. But how many trees do you think we have? Wait a minute, how many do you think? 150. 150, mm, that's close. Okay, how about you? Well, you're all pretty close because we have 77 trees in the White House. And I hope you'll all come and take a tour and visit. And we have millions of lights. And we have one very special room called We the Children. And it's decorated to honor kids just like you with drawings and reflections of the magic that really children like all of you bring to our holidays. And you remind us that even though we have a lot of challenges ahead, our future is full of promise because you are going to lead it. Oops. Just like the Grinch himself, seeing all of you here, eager, eager to make someone else's holiday a little more special, it's enough to make my heart grow three sizes as well. So thank you to Toys for Tots for bringing us all together. So Merry Christmas. And may you receive as much love this holiday as you give. And now it's my honor and my pleasure to introduce our next speaker, Samara Donahue. And in addition to supporting her parents through deployments to Iraq and Afghanistan, she has plans to follow in Joe's footsteps and become President of the United States. I can't wait to vote for you. And she has to finish, she just has to finish school first and wait about 25 years until she's eligible. So anyway, we are all rooting for you. So come on up and you can talk to everybody. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Samara Donahue, and I go to Kent Gardens Elementary School in McLean, Virginia. Today, I'm here with my mom and my dad, my sister, Marie and Isana, and my brother, Arstan. We're a proud Marine Corps family. I love Toys for Tots because it's a fun way for all of us to come together and bring and bless, or bring joy and bless those less fortunate kids across America. So to all the families out there who are going through difficult times, know this. We haven't forgotten you, we care about you, and we look forward to bringing the joy of Christmas to you through Toys for Tots. And to my fellow military families, we are proud of you and we are grateful for the sacrifices you make each and every day, and you are in our thoughts and prayers always. It is now my greatest honor to introduce to you the 46th President of the United States of America, President Joe Biden. When I was that age, I could hardly say my name in public. <laughs> Actually, I used to stutter when I was a little boy, until I was in high school. It's the only thing everybody... Ever... Anyway, you're a very impressive child. Yes. Thank you. Good afternoon, and uh, Samara, thank you for everything. And kids like you are the reason why I've never been so optimistic about our country. Think about it. I just have one request. When you're President of the United States and they say that Joe Biden is in the outer office, 
promise me you won't say to your staff, Joe who? <laughs> well, you remember me? All right, okay, that's all I ask. I also want to thank General Bell and welcome us today. And, and uh, I told him he and I have something in common. We both married way above our station. Ms. Bell, it's a pleasure to see you. And uh, Lieutenant General Lester, uh, you truly exemplify the Marine motto, always, always faithful. Over 38 years of service in uniform and four more leading Toys for Tots, I want to thank you as well for not walking away. Folks, it's an honor to, to, to be with you celebrating the 75th anniversary of this incredible cause, and it is an incredible cause. Toys for Tots is one of the best events of the year at the White House. We set up donation boxes everywhere, and last week, one of the collection boxes in the Eisenhower building had things, a uh, huge thing, uh, stuffed animals, smiling, toy bunny, perched on the edge. You can't see something like that without smiling. And that's what you all do. For 75 years, you brought joy and laughter and smiles to families all across this country. Last year alone, you collected 22 million toys for more than 8 million children, giving Santa a run for his money. And, but unlike Santa, you don't wear big red suits. You don't travel the world in just one night. Instead, you wear dress blues and army greens and as Marines, soldiers, sailors, you stand watch around the world every single night. As Jill mentioned, we have a We the Children's Room at the White House. And one of the pieces of this year's broader holiday theme is We the People when you come to the White House. Those are the very first words of our Constitution, I say to all the adults. They're the very idea of America. And in we, the people, we see you and the best of us. The women and men who gave everything to our country and give back to our communities. You aren't just the heart and soul of our nation, you're the very spine of our nation. And we owe you. And we, the people, we also see all the spouses, partners, and children here today. Jill and I, know how much you give to our nation and how much you sacrifice. The English poet John Milton once wrote, they also serve who only stand and wait. And it's true. We know that for those of you with husbands, wives, moms, dads, friends, loved ones deployed overseas, it can be extra tough this time of year. When our son Bo was deployed in Iraq for a year, it was hard to look at that empty seat at dinner table every night, particularly in the holidays. And for our granddaughters and grandson, they were the same age as many of you here today. It was even harder not to have their dad around on Christmas morning. So I want to tell you what I told them. You have to keep brave. You have to be brave. Even when your mommies and daddies are far away, they are so proud of you. And I'm so proud of you as your president. All of you here today, you all give back. You're helping other people, other kids, just like your parents are helping. And sometimes, just a little bit of help can change everything for someone. I think about the story that Toys for Tots shared of a young girl, only nine years old, who fled violence from Nicaragua to come to the United States with her family. It was about 35 years ago. Her parents had saved all the pennies they were able to get here. And they told her, Christmas isn't going to happen this year when she arrived 35 years ago. But then one morning, a big Toys for Tots truck pulled up to her new home in San Jose. Marines hopped out, and she got to pick a gift. You know what she picked? A huge stuffed bunny. She used it as a pillow. That little girl grew up to join the United States Marine Corps. She served our country in uniform for 26 years. She's now a major in the Marine Corps. I wish she could be here today, but she's on active duty. But she still remembers that first Christmas in the United States, and she shared her story with Toys for Tots. Because this program gives so much more than just gifts, it gives hope. You give community, and you are the inspiration that lasts a lifetime. And that's not hyperbole. You know it to be true in your gut. You've seen it in the face of the looks of these children. So all of you kids, keep it up. Keep on being brave. Keep on being involved. Keep on helping other people. And may God bless you all. You have a Merry Christmas, and may God protect our troops. 
Now let's get sorting these gifts, okay? You with me? All right.